Hi and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you're here and I love watching end of year videos, especially around books. So I'm so excited to talk to you about my favorites of the year. I have my notes next to me. So we're just going to go through some of the books that I read that I really, really enjoyed. This year I read 42 books, which is really good for me. I feel like as a mom and having a full-time job, running my business as well, that's pretty, pretty good. And I always have a mix of personal development and then fiction books. Most of the list that I'm going to talk to, most of the list that I'm going to talk about is fiction books, which who doesn't like just a nice, amazing story to just dive into. So let's get started. First up is Love Theoretically. I absolutely love this book and I gave it a five out of five stars. All the books on this list are going to be five out of five stars for me. It's an amazing love story and it's very relatable, I feel like. I think it's not, you know, made up. This really can't happen and, you know, you really fall in love with both of these characters. Essentially, it's a woman in the science field and it really talks about kind of some of the struggles that women go through within the science um, industry, if you will. I can't relate to that, but it's really eye-opening to see that. So she falls in love with someone as well in the science field. It's kind of a nice love story to unfold, but there is the the real, not only drama, but the real grit of life that she goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. And they really talk about some real themes that you can apply and see in the day-to-day. -day. So I really, really enjoyed that one. The next book I actually have right here, it's the Oprah's Book Club for this year. Um, not sure if she has a couple, but this is Hello Beautiful. This, this book was awesome. I actually read it for a book club and it is um, more of a historical fiction book and I'm not usually the one to dive into these, but this one was incredible. Like I couldn't put it down. I needed to know what happened next and next and next and next. And it follows, um, I believe there's four sisters and it follows their timeline of their life, you know, from the time they're young and then through their adulthood and what happens. And it is really beautifully written. The plot and narrative of the book is so interesting and intriguing. I absolutely loved it. So again, five out of five stars and I highly, highly recommend it. Next up is The Writing Retreat. This was one of the first books I read this year and it doesn't have a high rating on Goodreads, which I'm really, really surprised about because I really enjoyed it. It is like such like snowy, freezing vibes at this retreat. Um, there is like friendship and love and uh, betrayal and all of these interesting kind of aspects that go on in this house or retreat if they go to a house. So it's, it's incredible. I really recommend it. It's honestly probably my favorite thriller thriller that I read this year. And I'm really shocked that it doesn't have really good reviews on Goodreads. I absolutely loved it and devoured it in like two days. Um, I was flying somewhere and I read like most of the book on the plane. So I really, really recommend that one. The next is a series. So the things we, I put it the things we never series. It's on my Kindle. I don't have it with me, but it's like the things we leave behind, the things we hide from the light. It's three books and they're all really good. If you have Kindle Unlimited, I think you can get all three on there. If not, I just read them all on my Kindle. They're pretty thick uh, paperback books, like maybe 500 pages, maybe 400. And they're all really good. I really enjoy the last one. I think it's most my favorite, but I gave all of them five out of five stars. Amazing romantic books with a little spice, but also um, really, um, you know, real aspects to the story that you really follow in the day-to-day -day life of like you and me. So I really, really enjoy that one. Next up is Yours Truly. Uh, I absolutely love this book. It also was probably one of the first ones, or maybe I read this in the summer. Incredible, incredible. Five out of five stars. Amazing love story. Um, amazing characters. Really unique how the story unfolds and how they fall in love. Definitely something that maybe you don't see as much anymore. So I really enjoyed that one. So I highly recommend it. Next up is Lessons in Chemistry. This was also an earlier read in the year for me, and I found it at one of those um, little libraries that you see in the neighborhoods that just like there's free books that you can pick up. And I like opened it one time and this book was there and I was like, oh, my God. And so I grabbed it and I straight up devoured, devoured the book. It is so incredibly written. 
the story is something that you just fall in love with. There is sadness, there is romance, there is, you know, aspects of parenting and um, as a woman getting pregnant and what is that like, how your body changes. It's just incredible. And again, there's that science aspect, which was also truly, truly something that I think I really enjoy in books is seeing women in science. And again, highly recommend it. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> the next book is, I'm laughing because this book has been a book I saw for probably years and years and years. And I just put it off because I was like, I don't think this is going to be for me. But it's the um, A Court of Thor. Is it A Court of... <laughs> The one that I like the best, it's the second book. I'm on the third one right now, but it's the A Court of Mist and Fury is the second book. But the first book, I think it's called something else, A Court of Something Else. <laughs> I really should know this. But I read the first one as well. I enjoyed it, but I had to push through because my friends kept telling me like the second one is better and so on. Like you just got to get through the first one. And I felt like really at the end of the first one, it picked up. But my favorite one was the second one, which I finished. And it's just so incredible. It's such a like a fantasy love story and various elements of these worlds and how it works. Um, I really enjoyed it as an adult. I feel like I thought those books were young adult and they might be classified as young adult, but they definitely have aspects that adults can relate to. So um, I really enjoyed that one. And I'll keep you guys posted because I'm finishing up the series. Um, it's on my Kindle. So I'm on the third one right now. The next book um, the next two books are actually memoirs. The first one is I'm Glad My Mom Died. And what a title, like what an incredible title. And this book is raw. It's so good. Um, I feel kind of out of place rating a memoir. It's, of course, somebody's true story. Uh, but it was amazing. I really, I listened to it on audio. The author na narrates the book the whole time. So you really get to see her perspective and she like really hits the point on some of the aspects she talks about but um she's a young star most people know her um on television and she basically like really shares the ugly and dirty and evil side of um I would say show business and how women were and probably still are um portrayed and are told what to do what to eat what to wear and then also her relationship with her mom and her mom was the one that wanted her to be famous, to make all this money, because that's what her mom wanted, but she couldn't do it. So she really instilled that into her daughter. And it was, it was wild. The, the stories that she talks about are, are really just deep and, and raw. That's the only way I can describe it, are just raw. Um, so have a look at that one if you're interested in just seeing the other side of Hollywood. The next book is Friends, Lovers, and Big Terrible Things by Matthew Perry. Oh my god, I think I'm the only person on the planet that didn't watch the Friends series, like, from episode 1 to 10, from all these seasons, from all the episodes they have. They have, like, hundreds of episodes, but I know what, obviously, Friends is, and I probably have seen an episode here and there, but I definitely, like, don't know the dynamics. And this book really goes into Matthew's addiction, and the struggle and how he has been battling it since basically he was a teen, if not like a 20 year old man. Um, and what I learned from reading that book is how really challenging and I guess the word is, I don't want to say sensitive, but unstable, you know, addiction can be you can want to change and go to rehab and he, go, he went to rehab. I don't know over 10 times, I think he said in the book. And there was a point in, in the book that he talks about taking like 50 um, of a certain pill per day. And it's just like he wanted to get better, but the disease was just taken over him. And it just shows that the people that are battling with addiction, it's not such a simple thing for them because it's just a type, it's a different type of person. It's a different type of how they're built. Some people can just, you know, have a drink and stop and some people can not stop and they need to have a bottle or longer or more. So it was a really, really good, good book. Um, and this is so tough to say because he's so funny and I listened to it uh, as an audio book. So he makes the concept really easy to listen to because he makes jokes and things like that on a such a serious topic which really I think makes people like me really understand what that's like or what a person would go to through if they're battling with addiction 
the last two books are oh my god guys these two were my favorite books of the year i reread them twice just this past week i reread both of them the week between christmas and new year's and it's fourth wing and iron flame oh my god i i feel like those books are for people my age so i'm 30 and if you guys remember reading harry potter when we were in middle school high school whatever that time frame was well probably middle school and it's like that, but as an adult. And the story is better, and there is romance, and there is like sex and spice and that side of the story. And then there is this dragons that, you know, we all are obsessed with now because of Game of Thrones. And it's just so good. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. I read them both. Um, I was actually really happy that I read Fourth Wing closer to the end of the year because Iron Flame was coming out. And I was like, oh, I'll give this one a try. And I'm so glad I did because I didn't have to wait so long. For the next book to be released but now we're waiting for the third book to come out and i'm not sure when that's going to be but wow what a story i love this series because of two things most fantasies are so slow it's really hard to get into the the story the world the various aspects of the world the different people i feel like sometimes i read fantasy books and they just like take 100 pages to go over like one thing this wasn't like that there's like a million things that are happening in the 100 pages that you're reading, which I really like. And I know some people didn't like that. That's the critique the books are getting. But for me, I love that. I love that it's fast paced. You get to know the characters, but you also like don't spend 30 pages on like one person, and <laughs> which I really, really like. So those were my two favorites. To end this off, I am giving, I think, myself a challenge of 50 books in 2024. I did 42 last year. My goal was 40. So my new goal is 50, and I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys are reading, what your favorites were, um, and what you can't wait to read in 2024. And I'll see you guys soon.